the previous video we saw the different types of web resources in this video we'll look at how to write a javascript web resource let's discuss on how to write a web resource and deploy it to find the web resource section of your organization click on the gear icon one settings customize the system and then click on web resources so over here these are the list of web resources in your organization so in order to add a new web resource all we need to do is click on new so the the web resource which i'm going to add is going to perform a validation and it's going to perform a validation on the account entity it is going to check if the phone number is null if it is null it is going to throw an alert saying that the phone number is null and it will assign a default value to it so that's that's the web resource which i'm going to be writing and it's going to be a javascript web resource since we use javascript for form validation so i'm just going to call it account validation since it's since i'm going to be writing this i'm since i'm going to be deploying this web resource on the account entity i'm calling it account validation i'm going to give a display name saying account validation mention the type as javascript and there are two options one you can go ahead and click on text editor and write the web resource over here directly or in visual studio you can write the javascript file and then upload it by choosing it from your local computer from here so those are the two options which you have you can also use xrm toolbox to do the same thing so uh, go to xrm toolbox and first of all connect to your organization and use the web resources manager and with this what you can do is go to load web resources I'm just going to load only the JavaScript files so that the load will be a lot faster. And then what you need to do is go to the folder in which you want to add the web resource and then just right click on it and just say add new web resource script and then just give a name for it. And once you've written the web resource, just click on save and then update and publish. What this will do is this will uh, this will just save the web resource, the changes, and it will publish it in your organization. So a lot of the users prefer to use the web resources manager of the XRM toolbox because it has a nice user interface where you can make your changes to the web resource and then save it and publish. But uh, but yeah, I mean you can you can do whatever is comfortable for you. You can either write the web resource directly over here using the text editor, or you can write it in Visual Studio and upload it over here, or you can just uh, you know use the XRM toolbox to like you know edit the web resource and uh, save and publish. Okay, so that's that. So. Um, I'm just going to write the web resource now. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to write a function saying check phone number because that's what it's going to be doing. I'm going to 
read the phone number first. I'm going to call the xr.page.get attribute. And in this, I'm going to mention the field which I want to retrieve, which is telephone one. Telephone one is a schema name for phone number. And now I'm just going to say dot get value. First, I'm going to check if it's null. First, throw an error message saying phone number. I'm also going to set the value. Now I'm going to set the value. Now inside the set value, I'm going to mention the value which I'm going to set. So I'm just going to assign a random value of that. In the next video, we'll look at how to deploy a web resource and test the web resource which we've just